Hey, what's going on y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how my SMS AI appointment setter is booking my sales calls for me. Now, just to give you a quick rundown of the high level theory on how I'm funneling leads onto the AI, as you guys may probably know, but if you don't, uh, when it comes to SMS appointment setting, it has to be an inbound lead. You cannot do cold SMS means of marketing. You have to stick to doing AI emails and AI cold calling if you want to do the cold outreach stream. So because of that, for SMS appointment setter, we're primarily relying on ad traffic to funnel over onto our landing page, in which case we're doing data collection in this data collection getting their phone number access consent them giving us their information allows for us to do our marketing efforts in our SMS AI appointment setting stream in which we're immediately funneling the AI scale agent to reach out via SMS qualify the lead chat with them a little and propose the sales call and then once the appointment book this is kind of just a look into the back end automation side of things as far as email confirmations SMS confirmations but what I really want to go over in this video is the appointment setting side of things as it relates to the SMS AI so the idea is once they come through our ad funnel and we to collect their information we are going to be tracking the lead so this is a automated AI pipeline that I have set up that's tracking my SMS conversations so a new lead comes through my pipeline I have a wait stage before the AI actually reaches out in this case it's about five minutes and then if and when the AI does reach out then we update the lead in the pipeline as talk AI reached out and the AI will continue to send follow-ups over the course of the next couple weeks assuming the lead does not reply back however if and when the lead does reply then we update the pipeline to talking with AI if they make it far enough in conversation flow where the call gets proposed then we're updating the lead to call proposed post in which case this is typically where the biggest drop off is because no one will stop on a sales call so we really try to package the appointment set it conversation to really show that there is going to be true value in hopping on the sales call in hopes to keep very small amount of people call proposed section we want people to just be in here for a bit pull the trigger and then book their appointment and then of course appointment booked and then no response after follow-ups is for the dead leads that opted in then ghosted us completely now this is a front end for like a high level business owner on you know being able to see everything that's happening but I actually want to show you guys a live example so this is a lead Aiden that came through my funnel in which case I've got a bit of a lead magnet too so if they do opt into the funnel they also receive a seven-day course so that's incentive for them to give me the information in the first place five minute wait stage so you see 1053 and then five minutes later the AI is actually reaching out and kind of just you know saying a leading question sparking the conversation like hey did you take a chance to check out the email I sent over let me know if you want to schedule a demo sometime I can show you how client acquisition AI management lead flow works and in this case this lead had a question off the bat asking kind of what we offer you know they're considering AI I'm not going to read word for word but you get it specifically masked my AI I saw a competitor do this and I was like you know what might as well try it out and it's been working great so we do all lowercase for like the AI messages just because it seems a little more human like and then I've got like a couple minute delay and then I've got like a one minute delay in between replies and especially if I'm sending a few sentences like this, then it really does look like it's me or a human behind the scenes. Although if someone ever does accuse, I've taught my AI to be like, all right, just give them transparency because I typically do AI integrations. You know, it usually helps with rapport if they know it's an AI and I'm not, you know, just continuing to bullshit because it's like, oh, wow, this is pretty good AI. Let's go ahead and book a call. But here's the thing. If you're just a normal business owner and you're looking to use this for lead nurturing, you would likely just want it set up to where they think it's you. Anyway, so here we're qualifying. I specifically like to work with clients that are making at least $10,000 a month. So we got that qualification question and answered learning a bit more about his service delivery and this is where we're really beginning to pitch our own services he's asking a bit more detail so we provide some elaboration he said oh yeah I'm looking for AI appointment setters perfect that's our bread and butter late long-term lead nurture sequence that's also something we're strong on and then here we're even explaining a little bit more about that to kind of reinforce what he's looking for and it's like hey you've came to the right place this is what we do you know proposing like hey are you interested and this is where we're transitioning to book that sales call yeah I'm interested what do we do and then great to you're interested let's schedule a time to chat sure and then we drop to the link and then as far as the pipelines go just scrolling back up top so this is where the lead was updated so AI reached out lead messaged and then uh, when the call gets proposed the link gets dropped automatically updates to call proposed and then in this case the guy clicked on the link and he automatically booked in and we know that because of the appointment booking update and then we updated the opportunity value as well to appointment booked and then we sent him the post booking information here's the time of your booking specifically tailored in their time zone meeting location and then this is also just some pre-education I make sure that all my leads watch my VSL before they hop in the sales call just so they fully understand the offer and you know we only work with a few clients and so I really take show up rate seriously so I'm like hey if you're unserious literally cancel right now like I could not be bothered to talk to you if you're not serious about this because we do have a guarantee 30 sales calls in 45 days but in order to meet that we have to work very closely like there's definitely consulting side to what we do when it comes to setting up a build and actually being able to generate results because that we only take on a couple clients so there's just some pre-call information and then if the lead did end up deciding to text back or have an additional question prior to the meeting the AI is still here essentially on call to handle those questions and then just continue to act as a point of contact until the sales call for me to ideally close into a paying client during the time of recording this it's the 30th of July so this meeting is tomorrow so we'll see what happens but anyways that
that is a very quick elevator rundown into exactly how SMS AI appointment center is capable of booking leads on a sales calls. And no, we are not using the internal go high level tool. I have a whole automation deck set up. If you see any of my other builds, I get very customized with how I set up my AI appointment centers. And then we're using make.com in scenarios like this to go straight to the source instead of using go high levels, white labeled AI. Because for every cost per message generated, you should be spending like one cent on. You're spending three to four cents if you use go high level. So by undercutting that, going straight to the source with made.com. So it allows us to have the cheapest cost per message generated on the market. So at scale, when we have hundreds of conversations or for some of our clients, they're having thousands of conversations. We have the most affordable rates. So, you know, overhead is great. And then another thing is like go high level really puts handcuffs on their AIs. So very user friendly. So a lot of people can use them, but for technical developers like me, you know, we want to go the extra mile and actually set up a build properly. So that's another reason why we undercut go high level and use make to go straight to the source. Nonetheless, everything starts and finishes from a conversation perspective on go high level as the primary platforms are able to see visually all the emails they're getting sent, all the text messages get sent. This specific strategy is how I've been able to book so many sales calls for my agency this month alone. Like, let me show you my calendar in July. So this is anything in purple is a sales appointment. And if I scroll back a couple weeks, you guys can see all of July has been a very good month. I did 35K revenue this month for the business, 21K cash collected, and then 14K payment plan uh, to be paid over the next couple months and all funneled from ad traffic. And then a couple of these leads are from organic streams like YouTube, Instagram. But this is exactly what we'll be doing for our clients as well. Like we're practicing what we preach. Anyways, all that to say, guys, if you are interested in how to set up a build like this, I actually am giving away my entire automations loadout. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link to that down below. If you are interested in seeing how this can apply to your business, in which you get an entire AI toolkit to set you up, including the make.com scenario I went over so you have affordable rates for your build. And another thing, if you're just looking for someone to do it for you, we are currently guaranteeing 30 plus booked sales calls within the next 45 days of working with me and my team, integrating an AI sales fulfillment build like this, in which case we'll go the extra mile, not only set you up with SMS, but also voice dialers and email AI appointment setters as well, and even Instagram and Facebook if you're really into that. Anyways, hopefully you learned a thing or two about the true power you can use with AI if you can leverage it correctly. And who knows, this may be the thing that takes your business to the next level.